Aren't you glad we don't get the measles anymore? That is because nowadays most children are vaccinated against it. The measles vaccine somehow makes us immune against the measles. But how does a vaccine work and what is it? To answer this question, we first need to take a look at how our body usually protects us against disease-causing organisms, which are called pathogens. When a pathogen invades your body for the first time, it will not be recognized quickly enough by your immune system and will make you ill. In the body, the pathogens will be recognized and attacked by cells of the A-specific immune system. This system consists of different cell types that can either attack the pathogen or report this intrusion to the specific immune system. To do this, the reporter cell will take a piece from the pathogen, called the antigen, which is unique for each kind of pathogen. The reporter with the antigen goes to the lymph nodes, where the cells of the specific immune system are waiting. These cells are called T cells and B cells. However, not all T and B cells can attack the pathogen. The cells have to have a specific affinity for the antigen. As you can imagine, it can be quite hard to find the right cell for the job. But when it's found, the conquering of the pathogen can start. The cells of the specific immune system that have been recruited by the reporter cells go to the place of infection. At the place of infection, they recognize and then specifically kill the pathogen. However, in the meantime, you've been sick for quite a while. To prevent this time-consuming surge when the same pathogen invades your body again, the specific immune system makes memory cells during the first time a specific pathogen attacks. Unfortunately, a pathogen can attack your body for a second time. But because of these memory cells, the specific immune system can quickly attack the pathogen when it affects you again. So you won't get sick this time. Isn't that clever of your body? We should thus be thankful to our body for making these memory cells because it keeps us healthy a lot of the time. Vaccines make use of this system to create memory cells and make you immune to a specific pathogen. But how can a vaccine give you the specific defense memory that makes you immune to a pathogen without making you sick? And what is actually in a vaccine? We start by describing the three main kind of vaccines. The first kind are the life attenuated vaccines containing a weakened version of the pathogen. The benefit of this kind of vaccine is that it triggers a good immune response because the weakened pathogen can easily be recognized. The disadvantage of this type of vaccine is that it can be dangerous to immunodepressive persons, like the elderly. An example of a live attenuated vaccine is the vaccine against the measles you get as a child. The second kind are the inactive vaccines, containing a killed pathogen. They are safer for immunodepressive persons, so can be given to, for example, the elderly. However, they do not trigger an immune response as well as live attenuated vaccines. An example of an inactive vaccine is polio. The third kind are subunit vaccines, containing parts of pathogens, the antigens. Remember, these were the parts of the pathogen that the reporter cell brought to the specific immune system. Subunit vaccines are like inactive vaccines, safer and trigger a less well immune response. An example of a subunit vaccine is the hepatitis B vaccine. But the pathogens or its antigens are not the only content of vaccines. Are the extra ingredients just for fun or do they have a function? And of course they do. Preservatives and stabilizers are added so the vaccine can be stored for a longer amount of time. Adjuvants are added to make the vaccine more effective. They make the cells of the specific immune system more alert, so that a faster immune response is triggered. Now you know how a vaccine works, there's one more thing you need to know. The principle of group immunity. When a large part of society is vaccinated against a certain disease, they can no longer get ill and infect other people. People that aren't vaccinated therefore have a smaller chance of getting infected and essentially get a free pass. 
However, for this group immunity to work, enough people have to be vaccinated or the disease will again rule the world. Nowadays, more and more parents are scared about vaccinating their children and the occurrence of for example the measles has risen dramatically over the past few years, while it was near extinction a while back. Sadly, there's no vaccine against stupidity. That's all folks. <laughs>